Hi, we are Nat and Max, and we love exploring British Columbia. After the last video, without a doubt, we came back a few pounds heavier. After enjoying all this delicious food Steveston has to offer, you never will really run out of things to do when you're in Vancouver. And in today's video, there's going to be a little bit of this. Is he a hawk? Or? He's a hawk, yeah, he's a Harris hawk. Of course, there will be this. I can smell all the food. And to work out the extra pounds from the last video, there will be a little bit of this. <laughs> all while showing you what you can do in a day in the most beautiful city in Canada. Today is going to be a Vancouver vlog. We have been exploring the rest of BC for a few vlogs now. And today, we thought we just wanted to enjoy our home city, Vancouver. So the plan right now is to find something to eat because we're already here in Granville Island. And later today, we have a reservation for kayaking in Jericho Beach. Fratello, abbracciami, chiunque si abbracciami, se siete un giorno bravi. That's not something you see every day, right? It's amazing. So we just saw a lady carrying a hawk. Does he have a name? Yeah, his name's Paquito. Paquito. Yeah. Hi. Is he a hawk? Or? He's a hawk. Yeah, he's a Harris hawk. <laughs> so cool. He's a hawk. <laughs> <laughs> it turns out it's not for display or for entertainment. Tiquito is actually here to scare off the seagulls. Because this place is pretty known to have savage seagulls. And if you guys remember, this place is pretty memorable to me because I was attacked by a seagull for my donut. <laughs> There's a pirate ship! So if you guys aren't familiar with Granville Island, it's one of the more hip touristy area here in the city. It's an actual public market so you can see food, some local shops, and it's actually an island because it's surrounded by water. You're right by the dock, you have like the boats and people are kayaking here. It's just a nice place to be on a sunny day. I can smell all the food. Leave the lights on in the door. If you drop on by, you don't have to know. We're happy to share whatever we've got. There are still a lot of COVID measures in place, but it's slowly going back to normal and we're not wearing masks anymore, which is kind of feels like a little weird, right? Leave the lights on in the door. It's nice to see that almost all of the shops are open. I can see the lobster man. So for lunch today, we wanted to check out this place called the Lobster Man because what's interesting about them is you can almost guarantee that their food is fresh because right beside their place, they have like sort of like a market where you can buy live lobsters, crabs, mussels, clams. They can even cook your lobster and crab for you. A signature lobster roll and a Dungeness crab roll. Sure. Thank you. Thank you. Get the goods. So, how do we know which one is which? I think that's the lobster. Um, okay. Max and I kind of just got the same thing, except I got the lobster one. I got the Dungeness crab. Yeah, so it's kind of the same things. You got the bun, you got some dill and miso mayo in there. And it looks so good. And you got some uh, chips on the side. Oh, the bird. Oh no. Oh no. I'm so scared. Trying your best not out. to be eaten by birds. First bite. Ready? Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. That's so good. I still can't tell what's the difference between a crab and a lobster. Can I try yours? It's so many! Yeah, just put them up in there. <laughs> mm. I think I got a little bit of a shell on mine. 
because it's a little crunchy. Mm. So yeah, this is about $17 and yeah, totally recommend it. So about two thirds in our bun, I quickly realized that Max's order tasted more like lobster. I think we completely switched our orders. I still can't tell what's the difference between a crab and a lobster. I think I got a little bit of a shell on mine. It both tastes so good. <laughs> <laughs> After the Okanagan trip, I never thought I was gonna wear this hat again. But yet, yeah, here we are. There's so many people doing the kayak. Or any kind of a book. literally all just Looks like they're completely booked up today. Good thing we have a reservation. You can just wait on the beach for a second. After this group goes, there'll be a safety briefing and you can join in with them and then you're good to go. Okay, perfect. Thank you so much. So yeah, make sure you have a reservation or else you won't get a, a kayak. Um, on all of your life jackets, there should be a whistle. So if there's an emergency, three whistle blasts. But apart from that, please don't use the whistles. Um, for our paddles, you guys just want to hold them shoulder width apart, 90 degrees. You want to make sure you can always see the Jericho Beach and the phone number. If you guys have water in your boat that you want to get out, this is a water pump. So you just stick this inside the boat, this goes out of the boat, then you just pump it out. If you guys are in a double, uh, the person in the back, or if you're single, the only person, gets to control the rudder, which helps with steering. So for your foot pedals, if you push on your left foot pedal, you'll go left. Right foot pedal, you'll go right. Heading to the kayak now. So exciting! After a few safety briefings, to make sure that we'll be able to navigate and survive out there, I, we don't have one yet. <laughs> we quickly hopped on to, into our kayak and started paddling out of the busy Jericho Beach area. Thank you. <laughs> Do we need to paddle? <laughs> <laughs> So do you think we're gonna make it to Pizzolano? So we booked this kayak for three hours. I think that's good enough to reach Kitsilano Beach. If you guys are wondering where we got our kayaks, I think there's only one kayak rental company in Jericho Beach. So they're called Jericho Beach Kayak Center. I think there's the same company that is handling Deep Cove kayaking. Originally, we wanted to do kayaking at Deep Cove, but today was kind of a busy day for them and they are fully booked out. And we got a little bit lucky with Jericho Beach because they had some kayak for us and we're making our way to Kitsilano Beach right now. Left! I think we should start investing on gloves, especially for activities with paddles. It's only been five minutes and my hand is already sore. Originally, we booked this reservation yesterday, but unfortunately, the weather turned out a little bit hazy because of all the wildfires. And thankfully, they were able to move it today, which turns out a much nicer day than yesterday. Look at this. It's a bit cloudy, but that's what we want. We don't want the full sun beaming on our heads right now. Okay, time check. It's a little bit over an hour now since our reservation, but I think we've only been paddling for half an hour now because the amount of time you use up from your reservation to your actual paddling time is about half an hour. And we're about two thirds of the way to Kitts Beach. Hey! Hey! Oh my god! <laughs> Just put your arms like this. Try to be stable as much as possible. Before this activity, I was kind of gauging my level of comfortability on bringing this big camera here. Although it, this camera is splash proof, I don't think it's gonna survive if it dropped just in the middle of the ocean. <laughs> Hopefully that doesn't happen. I wonder if we're going to see any wildlife today. Do you want to see a seal? Um, maybe a car. I might freak out and just throw the camera away. <laughs> we smell seals. We smell seals. Seals! 
seals. Find one land, and I see a seal. That'd be great. But not while well I'm in the water. Oh my gosh! <laughs> so technically you could do a few different trails while on a kayak here in Jericho Beach. You could either go to Stanley Park, you can go to like English Bay. But we just chose like the easier route which is going to Kitsilano Beach. <laughs> oh my gosh, we're going to Bob! I'm turning left! Should I paddle in the left? Once we get past this buoy, we're officially in Kitsilano Beach. After a lot of whining I'm tired. and paddling, we finally made our way to Kitsilano Beach. We made it! <laughs> it's uh, a bigger deal to us than what it actually is. <laughs> okay, time check. It is currently an hour and a half since our reservation. So, so it takes about an hour and a half to get to Kits Beach. It's gonna be a little bit easier for us to go back because the wind is going that way. Do you want some water? Yes, please. We have this uh, dry bag that we bought for the Okanagan road trip, which is technically really handy if you're going on water adventures like this. So I think this is the farthest that we can go that we can see the city without being in trouble with the three hour limit that we have. So we're gonna go and kayak back to Jericho Beach. But if you guys wanted to see more of like the city skyline of Vancouver, we highly recommend just going kayaking in Granville Island because I think they have like a kayaking and a boat rental place there as well. We would have done that if we known earlier. One thing we should mention about that though, if you choose Granville Island, it's gonna be a busier area because of all the boats coming in and out, in and out Falls Creek. But if you wanted more of like a calmer, nicer area where you could just easily paddle, that's Jericho Beach for you. Time to go back now. It looks so hard. You need to be so strong to do that. That looks so hard, but I want to try it. <laughs> you want to try it? We just saw one of those like smaller sailboats, kind of like those small paper boats that you kind of make when you were a kid. Looks like there's an actual guide that's kind of telling them what to do. Maybe it's a tour or something. Maybe it's an instructional. Hmm, I wonder what that is. You want to try sailing? No, it looks so hard. <laughs> <laughs> Turn left a little bit. I'm turning. That's awesome! That looks so fun! So I think that's the same pirate ship company that conducts tours in Granville Island. I didn't know that they come all this way to English Bay. Yeah, but this is English Bay. Okay, update. We have finally made it back to Jericho Beach after paddling for two and a half hours. We have half an hour left, so I think we're just gonna chill here and that's gonna be it for this vlog. But if you guys are new here, make sure to hit subscribe and give this video a thumbs up because we're gonna be doing a lot more things like this. Catch you guys next time. Bye. <laughs> I was kind of wondering where this all this white stuff came from on my arm. But then I remember we're on salt water. Uh, <laughs> Nat's arms are dead. Maybe we should bury it. You wanna try that next week? Windsurfing? I'll think about it. I, ju I just discovered something. What? You can lean back and it doesn't get too hard on your back. Yeah, I've been leaning the whole time, haven't you? No. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, my God.